Hey guys, Web Conversion News. So it's with a heavy heart that with the release of Firefox 48, uh, which mandates signing of add-ons that I'm having to switch to an older browser, uh, which Firefox calls the extended support release. Um, let me just show you why. I mean, I really don't want to do this, but Mozilla have given me no choice. Basically, as you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, um, Web Converger can switch between eight add-ons, you know, depending on, on uh, how, if they're enabled or not. Um, and another thing is, is that we, I, I use the open format of the XPI. I don't have it all contained. And, and another thing I do is that I, I, I modify um, the about um, file somewhere, uh, this one here, in order to drop in the, the, the version number of what Web Converger is running. So basically what that means in plain English is that um, the new signing mandatory requirement in, um, in Firefox 48 just simply will not gel with Web Converger. Um, and that's really sad. So, so now I have to push to um, uh, 6,000 machines or something. Uh, an older version of Firefox, an over, older version of a web browser, which I really do not like to do. Um, uh, I've just been testing it in Spanish, and I can probably show you the about page if I can manage to figure out where the colon is on a Spanish keyboard. See, this is how I change the about page. I just drop in the, the version there and give people a link to their configuration. Um, providing they use this version where you can change the, where you can actually type in about. So yeah, that's it. Um, this is the release notes. <laughs> um, I, I mean the change log because add-on signing in Firefox 48 makes makes life too painful. Well, um, yeah, it's just not going to work with the way Web Converger works. Um, I think I I I did moan about this, but Firefox uh, Mozilla said that. Uh, they had to do this because a lot of malware was coming from add-ons. Um, okay. Uh, hopefully the solution works. But then I heard uh, another rumor that um, that uh, m malware, well, I don't know, malware, mal what do you call these people? People who create malware. Those people that I hate. Um, they're also um, leveraging enterprise features, which Web Converger does too. Um, I don't know if you've seen the Prefs API. It's actually quite powerful. But yeah, um, I'm just, I'm just worried that that Mozilla are going to make all these changes and just make it just like just too hard for Web Converger to exist almost uh, using the Firefox browser. I don't want to move to WebKit. In all honesty, I want Firefox to actually succeed. It just just feels like a bit of a kick in the teeth as usual for Mozilla. Okay, that's the update from Web Converger side. I, um, we, I'm going to do a new release sometime real soon. Sometime real soon now. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a like.